This is Mac OS Ken. Apple has a question for office workers. Apple has an update for watches, and Apple has a bone to pick with leakers. It is Friday, the 30th of July, 2021. I'm Ken Ray, and this is news from Mac OS Ken. Brought to you by yours truly and sponsored by Upstart. Fair and fast personal loans. Learn more and check your rate at upstart.com slash macOSCan. This show is also supported by people like you, patrons through Patreon. Find out more and add your support at patreon.com slash macOSCan. Yesterday, we heard a couple of Apple stories regarding vaccination and employees. One had Apple encouraging retail workers to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The other had Apple considering requiring vaccinations before bringing people back to the office. Now, Apple Insider says the Cupertino company is asking office workers about their vaccination status. Citing some Twitter posts from Zoe Schiffer, a reporter for The Verge, the piece says Apple has handed out guidance on vaccinations as the company prepares to bring more employees back to the office. Specifically, the tech giant wants to know whether returning staff are vaccinated in order to keep possible viral transmission at a minimum. Schiffer says Apple's guidance says... Apple is asking our team members in certain locations to share their current vaccination status. You can confidentially share whether you're fully vaccinated, have had a partial dose, are not vaccinated, or do not wish to share. Another tweet from Schiffer has Apple saying if you don't provide your vaccination status, your vaccination status is assumed to be unvaccinated. If you're not fully vaccinated and working on-site in an Apple building, Additional health and safety protocols may apply. Hard to see how the answer is going to stay confidential if the answer is no, but that is for bigger brains than mine to figure out. Apple released security patches early this week for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Meanwhile, a security update for Apple Watch has been a bit like whack-a-mole. Reports earlier this week indicated that watchOS 7.6.1 was out to the planet. Then it wasn't. Now it is again. For real this time. A piece from Mac Rumors has Apple's release note saying that the .1 firmware includes important security updates and is recommended for all users. The report says the release addresses the same security issue hit earlier this week in updates for Mac iPhone, and iPad. We all know Apple hates it when unreleased stuff gets leaked. Now we know why. Or we know why Apple says. A piece from Motherboard says Apple has sent a cease and desist letter to an unknown number of citizens in China who somehow keep getting and advertising leaked or stolen iPhone prototypes on social media. Wouldn't you think you'd find a quieter way to do that? Then again, they're not only making sales, they're also gaining followers on said social media, something that seems to irk Apple. Quoting Motherboard, In a letter, Apple accuses one seller of infringing Apple's trade secrets by posting a large amount of information related to Apple's unreleased and rumored products, which has given the seller widespread recognition and a large number of followers. The company called the seller's posts an illegal disclosure of Apple's trade secrets. Of course, ill-gotten recognition isn't Apple's only gripe. Quoting the piece again, Apple argued that advertising prototypes of rumored or unreleased Apple products will harm consumers because when the products actually get released, they won't surprise the public, which the letter says is part of the company's DNA. Moreover, the letter read, third-party accessory manufacturers may develop and sell mobile phone cases and other accessories that are not actually compatible with the unreleased products. It's worth noting, as Motherboard does, case makers aren't the only buyers. Collectors and iPhone hackers have also been known to pony up. 
Such situations harm the interests of consumers and Apple, according to the cease and desist. In the letter, says a separate piece from Motherboard, Apple asked the seller to stop acquiring, advertising, and selling leaked Apple devices and requested a list of anyone who provided them with the leaked devices. In other words, Apple wants the reseller to say who gave them the devices. Finally, the company requested the seller to sign a document promising to comply with the request within 14 days of receiving the letter. The piece says an unknown number of leakers and sellers have received that letter, or a letter like it. Some have gone dark. Some have pulled their social media accounts down. Surprising no one, Apple did not respond to a request for comment from Motherboard. More news in a moment, but first a word from Upstart. Fair and fast personal loans. Paying off debt can feel like an uphill battle. High interest rates plus minimum monthly payments can keep people in an endless cycle of debt. Upstart can help. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple, fixed monthly payment. Upstart looks at more than just your credit score. Factoring in income and employment history, that lets them offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000, and you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash macOSCan. U-P-S-T-A-R-T, that's upstart.com slash macOSCan. Don't forget to use my URL to let them know I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to Upstart dot com slash mac os can watch os 7.6.1 wasn't apple's only update on thursday mac rumors says GarageBand for iphone and ipad has picked up some new tools for creators including sound packs from dua lipa and lady gaga and producer packs from oakfelder soul action take a day trip and a few others Speaking to the Synergy and Apple services, the piece says another new producer pack provides a companion experience to the upcoming Apple TV Plus docuseries Watch the Sound with Mark Ronson, allowing users to experiment with sounds inspired by the music in the show. Upcoming when the article was written, it is out now. All six episodes of the docuseries are up to watch on Apple TV Plus. GarageBand is a free application. As for the make-it-yourself tools, the piece says the new remix sessions and producer packs are available now as a free download from the sound library in GarageBand 2.3.11, the latest version of the app for iOS and iPadOS. If Dystopia is your bag, Apple TV Plus has a trailer for you. The Cupertino streamer has dropped a promo for the second season of C on its YouTube channel. If you've forgotten what that one is, the spoiler-free part of the description says, C is set in a brutal and primitive future, hundreds of years after humankind has lost the ability to see. The rest of the trailer description seems kind of spoilerific, so I'll leave that for you to check out yourself. Or not. Jason Momoa and Alfre Woodard return for Season 2 with Dave Bautista joining the cast. The trailer is up now. The show's second season starts its run on Friday, the 27th of August. Apple's second entrepreneur camp for black founders and developers is on the way, and applications are now open. If you're not sure what that is, Apple's developer site says Apple Entrepreneur Camp supports underrepresented founders and developers as they build the next generation of cutting-edge apps 
and helps form a global network that encourages the pipeline and longevity of these entrepreneurs in technology. A piece from iMore has Apple laying out what's in store for people accepted in the program. Apple says selected organizations receive the following free of charge, one-on-one code-level guidance from Apple engineers, ongoing support from an Apple developer representative for at least one year, one year of membership in the Apple Developer Program, and access to the Apple Entrepreneur Camp Alumni Network, a world-class group of inspiring and ambitious leaders. The camp runs from the 26th of October through the 4th of November. Applications need to be in by the 17th of August. Best of luck. I hope you win. And finally today, speaking of applications... That 1973 Steve Jobs application and its Ghost in the Machine doppelganger went up for auction this week. Kind of feels like if you can put together the scratch, the physical application is a decent investment. Apple Insider says the application, notable for its time in history and for having Steve Jobs' signature on it, sold in 2018 for $175,000. In March of this year, it sold again for roughly $223,000. Now, less than six months later, going once, going twice, it sold again for the equivalent of $343,000 in the cryptocurrency Ethereum. Should be up to $500,000 by Christmas. I mentioned the application Ghost in the Machine doppelganger. Originally, I had thought that what was being auctioned was a set the physical application, and an NFT of the application. Turns out they were being sold separately. Apple Insider says the NFT sold for about $23,000, just a fraction of what the original brought, perhaps a little disappointing, really though it's not too bad for a thing that doesn't exist. Coming up in a few minutes... A playwright, a grandfather, and a tech founder get an invitation to dinner from Mike Rose, co-host of The After Show. Tuck in your napkin. It's Mike's dinner party. Look for the show in a few minutes, either at macoscan.com or wherever you get podcasts. Mac OS Ken, brought to you by me, and sponsored by Upstart. Fair and fast personal loans. Learn more and check your rate at upstart.com slash macOSCan. This show is also supported by people like you, patrons through Patreon. Find out more and add your support at patreon.com slash macOSCan. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media, online at backbeatmedia.com. You can reach me a couple of ways. Info at macoscan.com or call 716-780-4080. Until next time, that is news from macoscan. I'm Ken Ray. Ciao.